It's really you. It's really you. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my laughs> Let me show you around. So this is our room. You can sleep on the couch. Or I can sleep on the couch and you can have the bed. We'll see. And this, of course, is a kitchen. And I was wondering what those are. He has them like every <laughs> other... Wow. Those are mouse traps. Oh, I've, I've not seen any mice. Well, let's just keep our fingers crossed. Mm. Hey, have you noticed the floors are on a slant? Yeah, I realized that yesterday, but I thought it was not polite to mention anything to him. So. What's he like? The guy we're renting this place from. Oh, he's a real gentleman. He's a professor of cinema. And this is his office. I guess that's where he does all his writing to computer. Wow. We are not supposed to touch anything in here. Chrissy, we must not touch damage. any possessions in here. Chris, this is the bathroom. That is one hell of a small bathroom. And what's that? That's his room. That's off limits for us. A forbidden area? Let's take a look. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Crazy. That's a good looking gal. But there's something wrong. Today is Sunday. It says it's Saturday. This calendar is from 2010. That's five years ago. Yeah, okay, it's very weird to have such an old calendar. Hmm, do you think he liked the illustrations? Great, Chris. This is where I sleep. No! Sure, and you can join me. Oh. Hey, check this out. The guy wears some colorful underwear. Put that back. Please. Holy shit! What? Mask. A whole drawer full of them. No. Don't tell me that's not a little weird. I mean, what exactly is this guy into? I told you, he's a professor. So I'm gonna get dressed now and we can go for lunch or breakfast. Yes! Brunch! It's Saturday in New York! I got you those keys yesterday. Thanks. I wasn't about to ask, so thank you. You thought I wasn't going to get you keys? I... I didn't know. I mean, I wasn't sure. Really, Chrissy, you can be so silly at times. So this here is Pete's Tavern, established 1864, where Mr. O'Henry born 1862, died 1910, would sit and do some of his most famous short stories. Uh, 
I forget, what's the O stand for in O. Henry? Oliver. But O. Henry was just a pseudonym. His real name was William Sidney Porter. But Chrissy, you should already know this. So let's go in, I'm hungry. No, not yet. Our literary tour has just begun. So this is Minetta Tavern, established 1937 among the many famous American authors that used to frequent here was the novelist Ernest Hemingway, born 1899, died 1961, and the playwright Eugene O'Neill, born 1888, died 1953. Jeez, you really know your stuff. You should know this too, Chrissy. You're American, are you not? Didn't they teach you any of this in school? I don't know. I must have been out that day. So, can we go inside to eat? No, not yet. There's still more to see. And this is the White Horse Tavern. It was established in the 1880s. The exact date is unknown. And as I'm sure you already know, its most famous customer was the Welsh poet Dylan Thomas, born 1914, died 1953. They say that's where he drank himself to death. Great! So let's go in and get a drink! No! And something to eat! No, not yet! Are we ever going to get something to eat? Chrissy, what kind of a question is that? Of course we're going to eat, but first we're gonna go to Chinatown, do some shopping. Chrissy, my contacting you last month, I know it must have seemed very strange to you. Well, yeah, I mean, before that, when was the last time I heard from you? Something like 10 years ago, five years after graduation. You had emailed me a photo of you and some old guy who I remember I thought must be your father, but it wasn't your father. It was your husband and you had just gotten married. So how's that going? How's married life? I'm afraid married life is not so good. My husband died this summer. Oh my god! I I'm sorry. It, I'm so sorry. It's okay. He was ill for a very long time and... And now that he's gone, well... I just thought I should get away for a while. And then I remembered how you and I would talk about how wonderful it would be living in a city as exciting as New York and so I thought for maybe one month, we could live out that fantasy. You said you were teaching in Vienna. Yes, American literature to what you would call high school students. It was the same subject my husband taught, but he taught at a much higher level at university. And you, I didn't even ask what you have been doing with work. Well, my career hasn't been quite as illustrious as yours. Since college, I've been working mainly in restaurants. First as a waitress, then the last five or six years as a hostess. <sighs> but I got laid off at my last job. When was this? About three months ago. It was sort of an upscale establishment. How long had you been working there? Nearly four years. But earlier this year, they started cutting back due to the economy. And they figured they didn't need a hostess in addition to the four waitresses they already had. And Randy didn't think it was fair that he lay off one of the waitresses. Wait, wait, wait. Who is Randy? My former boss and my boyfriend at the time. Which of course was a big mistake. Especially as he was married. I mean, I was never someone he was going to leave his wife for. Or as he so succinctly put it someone who's going to make an investment in. But then, I can't really blame him, especially as he knew about all my other interests. Other interests? Yeah. You mean other than him? Yeah, you could say that. Interests other than him. Interests other than men. Oh, that. If I knew we'd be eating at McDonald's, I would have stayed in Ann Arbor. But I love McDonald's. 